guys, Kenji Sumino here from Grady Performance. This car we acquired early this year. I came across a clean white R33. And this is right after we finished building Dai's R33. So I like, well, I don't know, but you know, how much? And the price was something that, you know, couldn't refuse. So, you know, we got it, shipped it, and it didn't cost that much to ship it from Netherlands. And we decided to kind of give it a full resto. So we cleaned it up, changed all the moldings, and we had a lot of body parts spare from Dai's program. You know, we have a lot of product development that's, you know, happening. And, you know, the initial plan was to test out different turbos on Dai's car, but because it traveled throughout the year to different events for Pit and Paddock and Turn 14, and, you know, Dai took it around. And so we didn't really have time to play with it a little bit and try out different configuration as far as like, especially the turbo that we introduced. So, you know, we thought oh, this will be a perfect demo car. I've been working on it since May, little by little, and we debuted it at the Japanese Classic Car Show in Long Beach. Um, early October and you know, it came together pretty nicely. Exterior wise, it's kind of like a clean OEM with Nismo components. Under the hood, it's still our gritty motor and inspected everything. And it was a crack on the outside of the block. And it was just a, a small hairline crack on the intake side and I just welded up and everything was good. So this is still the original engine, but it already has a 2.8. So the oil pump to the stroker kit, everything's nittos. Might as well just keep that. I should check the compression and leak down is still decent. Currently it's a single turbo with our tech manifold. We have a twin turbo set up that we might be testing fairly soon, but we need to test this out. Our tech is working on twin turbo setup as well. We are a pro dealer for the West Coast, our GP68R. So decent size for the 2.8. You know, I think 800, 900 will be decent. We have a flex fuel sensor too. So, you know, we'll test it on the ethanol. So the PRP trigger kit, also the coil pack, uh, the kit with the R35 coils and Haltech. It's not fully tuned, but I'm able to boost it already. And, you know, it just makes everything so easy with, you know, what, what's available today. So this year we had a collaboration with Brid again with Ready co-branded seats. So we have the Eurostars on the driver and passenger, and we also have our collab Momo steering wheel. Yeah, like you said, OEM plus type of uh, finish with the interior as well. Got some R35 brake kits and it's that Nismo classic look. Since it's white, we do our Grady stripe on there and ties it up pretty good. We are planning to go to some of the events. That's something that we should show our performance with different packages. So who knows, I might start racing Sakamoto with this too. So, and, and you Andrew. We have Dai's R33. This was last year's SEMA build, and this was a little bit unique with collaboration with top rank importers and Turn 14 and Gretti. And the whole concept was to kind of build an ultimate street car. Last year was the first year we announced our engine program. So it kind of worked out where we did all the drivetrain. Few custom parts, but main components are all available from Turn 14. We had a fun with that and we campaigned it all last 
gear. Took it to track a couple times, but rest of it was more kind of show, display. The whole idea was for die to kind of test completely stock and then slowly modify it along the way to leading up to SEMA last year. But it worked out pretty good. Overall, we wanted to test the, the paddle shift. We have the power tune uh, component where we could uh, pneumatically shift the OS Gaiken 88 tr uh, sequential. The whole idea was to build like an ultimate street car. The base was you know, provided by top rank importers and it was like super clean um, car to start with. So it has our engine program, the crate motor with a 2.8 stroker with a CNC ported head, billet cams. The turbo is RGP64. The intake manifold is a Grady one and the ECU is the Haltech R5. The wheels are Titan 7. Our friends made a custom R33-ish looking OEM, but you know, upgraded. It had Nismo bumpers and side skirt and rear carbon lip. Recaro seat also provided by Turn 14. Unique uh, side mirrors by Evasive Motorsport. A few things that still needs work and you know, these type of cars, there's always something that could be upgraded, right? Or improved. So I'm sure it'll be here, you know, next time you come visit and we'll be playing with it too. But I got too many GTRs these days, so I'm gonna have to pick and choose. Never enough, <laughs> yeah. Garage has kind of transformed to a uh, super 90s um, garage, but um, yeah, it's been fun. Sun Kang's car, uh, it's known as Han in the Tokyo Drift in the Fast and the Furious. Very interesting way we met and now we're really close friends and since 2015, just decided to build a fun car with uh, two of his friends for like a weekend track car and that concept, you know, they started looking online to see what kind of, you know, builds they could turn it into and they just came across a rendering of this pandem white body kit that Mr. Mira posted and it was kind of going viral. Sun Kang just happened to see it and post it on his Instagram. If anybody in Southern California could get a kit like this, you know, please let, let him know. Our marketing manager saw that and said, hey, let's contact him, but let's make sure that Mr. Mira could make this and contacted Mr. Mira and was like, okay, well, if you need it, we could pretty much make this kit because I already scanned the car and it's ready to make it. So a week later, he shows up to our office and start talking about this body kit that he wanted. And from there, start talking about, okay, we want to build it for a really, you know, proper build, fun car to drive. From that concept, it turns into, hey, why don't, why don't we make it for SEMA? Then we could partner up with different, you know, companies, pretty much history after that, right? The whole concept was he wanted an inline six still, but maybe something more modern. 10 years before I built a, a S30 240Z and put RB26 in there. So I knew what it took to, to put that, but in 2015, there's so many easy kits, like engine mount kits and everything. So it made that very simple. He didn't want crazy horsepower, you know, since they already had the factory ITV. So we just need to put some, you know, velocity stack horns and, you know, call it a day and just put, you know, fuel management on there and, you know, be a fun car. You know, we went with that with the custom um, NA headers and, we took it to SEMA 2015. Been apart for a few few years after that, pretty much apart sitting in his friend's uh, shop. And one day he visited and he just thought it was such a waste. You know, we built it together and he wanted to kind of build it back up. So, you know, he moved it to his garage and he called me over to his house. And this is what it looks like right now. And he got, you know, engine parts and crates and bins. And what can we do with this? You know, I suggested, you know what? Let's do it proper with the RB. 
let's go turbo. So during the pandemic, this was rebuilt with turbochargers. Pretty much OEM spec, reintroduced as a V2, version two, Fugu Z. It's been living here since, ever since. And early this year, Sun called me, like, well, yeah, I wanted to use the car to get the Fugu Z sound clip for Fast and the Furious movie. So he had his sound crew come out and we drove around, around town to get some sound. So you'll hear the sound of this with the 240Z. It's painted yellow in the movie, but they took the actual sound. So, you know, we still kind of have fun with the car. So every once in a while, it'll make its debut and people still, you know, trip out and like, whoa, that's the Fuzi, right? So it's a pleasure to have that. And, you know, Sung said this car belongs here and should live here. So, you know, it's been sitting. So every, you know, if you come out to, to visit, visit us, you'll see this, so. Oh,